I had discovered snooker through my grandfather. First time I saw it on TV was the Steve Davis era in the 80s. Alex Higgins, Dennis Taylor, John Parrott, Jimmy White. I saw that on TV and I said, oh, that's what I want to do in my life. I just fell in love with the game. It's simple as. It's when you see, it's like you see, you know, the first, the first woman or the first girl that you say, my God, this is the one. Olivier Martel is one of snooker's most experienced referees. An accomplished player himself, he took charge of his first professional match in 2006 and rose quickly through the ranks. I remember we just came back from holiday when I got a phone call from my Ganley, tournament director. And he said, Oli, what about uh, doing the world final? And I'm like, Mike, are you joking? He went, OK, if I'm joking, he said, I'm going to give it to someone else then, as a joke. I went, no, 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 of course. I said, but you're, you're, you went, yeah, of course. I wouldn't call you otherwise. And then I, I came back in the house, and my then wife, she said, you've got the world final, have you? And I'm like, yeah. And I could see it. Uh, really? I went, yeah. I said, sit down before you faint. That's probably my, yeah, the best feeling I had in all those years. The shot effectively to become world champion. And it's in. When he's not refereeing, Olivier works as a radiology nurse in his native Belgium. In March 2020, his role and responsibilities changed somewhat following the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. I had days off for the World Championship. But then, of course, suddenly they go, oh, you can't travel anymore. Lockdown everywhere. So I contacted my head nurse. I said, I'm home. I can't go to the World Championship. I said, is there, is there anything in the hospital I can do? And he said, yeah, we're going to open a second a &E on the other side of the hospital, especially for COVID. So we need staffing. Would you mind? I went, no, of course not. It's my job. It's, it's my, my calling. I'm a nurse, so I'm there to help people. You arrive there and then you're briefed about the PPE you have to wear, and, and, and it's like a bacterial war. Eh? I missed two world championships because of COVID. That was for me like, I don't know, an arm cut off or a leg cut off. Olivier returned to the Crucible in 2022 and was given the honor of refereeing a second World Championship final. It's like a kid who has received gifts and, 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 and toys and then suddenly for more than a year doesn't, doesn't receive anything anymore. And then suddenly you take the kid to a toy shop and you open that door and... I mean, the eyes of that kid would also like lighten up. You know you're gonna be the man in the middle from a qualifier on day one up to the world final, which is the pinnacle. You can't get any higher than that. There's so many billion people in the world and you are one of the chosen to ref at the, at the crucible, at the mecca of sport, of snooker. I mean, it can't get any better than that. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.